I am from Abia State. My experience with Abia Security when I was in 100 level, during our second semester, we had students week. They invited an ethical hacker to present and you know, to talk vastly on cyber security and its benefits and everything. And I was intrigued. I decided to go into learning more about it. But I couldn't do a lot of hands on practicals because she was scared that the students were going to have the Ministry of Finance, which was very crucial. I didn't teach us much. All my journey to learn cyber security has just been theoretical. So I've been hoping to get a practical hands on experience. At some point, I just wanted to be that. that Bad as attacker, you know, but then I didn't really have a goal, like something to motivate me to keep pushing it to be more down. Until 2023, I was scammed. I was going for a modeling agency and I was scammed by the modeling agency actually. I was okay, so I decided to have my revenge on other hackers like um, scammers, but then I thought that was not the most efficient thing to do, so I decided to just have this motivation of standing up for people that have nobody to stand up for them because at that point I was very helpless and if I had somebody that could maybe I could talk to and say okay please help me get my money back, help me find this person, you know, I would have felt more peace but I didn't have that so I just had to do like that. I want to be somebody that can be available for others that don't have anybody to help them. A go to man would be really planting. Just normal planting, not planting. So you try planting at 2 a.m. <laughs> know where you go to and go to where you know. Be careful with how you give out your personal information, especially on social media. But that's very, very easy to get information about you. Don't have.